California, and it's our fourth and final tip. We've got the eight seed against the nine seed. The lights are out. Starting lineups being in announced, and it is Seton Hall and TCU getting ready to tip. Big East and Big 12 battle. For the right to face Arizona, the number one seed that took care of Wright State in our earlier game here tonight. So happy you could join us with Avery Johnson, Steve Smith, I'm Lisa Bynes, and we have Lauren Shahadi on the sideline with us as well. Well, guys, both of these teams, these programs, happy to be back into the NCAA tournament. It's been about three or four years here for each. And Avery, we'll start with you with Seton Hall. When you want to stay in the tournament, advance in the tournament, it always kind of helps to have some seniors. They feel like they have a good one in Jared Roden. And you talked about Big East and Big 12. Jared Roden's going to have to play extremely big tonight, not just with his offense, but also with his rebounding. He averages 6.8 rebounds a game. I'm looking for him to get a double-double tonight because that's what needs to happen for Seton Hall to have a chance to beat a tough TCU team. And on the other side, it's Mike Miles Jr. They go as he goes. He's their alpha. He has to make plays for them when the shot clock is down. When the plays break down, he has to create for himself and his teammates. Second team all Big 12 this year for Mike Miles as we take a look at the starting lineups for each. A couple other players maybe to keep your eye on. There's a guy in the middle, Eddie Lampard Jr., who's done some really good things, had to overcome a lot of different challenges. We'll get into that as the game moves forward. Katari Richmond has been dealing with a, a thumb injury. And, and we know that Lauren Shahadi will have more on an update on that. But as of now, he is in the starting lineup. Good to go here for the Seton Hall Pirates. Pattern in the middle. Obiagu wins the tip and Seton Hall gets the first